Ne never leave the seventh day out of the church. This church has truth. Some of our churches are turning very worldly, drums, not singing from hymnals, and going out for lunch after church. Should we stay and lead by example or find a church that is obedient? Find a church that's obedient. Listen to me, the church will get worse. In the days of Solomon, the entire nation went into idolatry. And some kings took the church, the entire nation, into idolatry. They were still God's people. And so if you see many churches going the way of the world, do not be shocked, be broken hearted, but it's not a shock. It will get worse. In Ezekiel chapter 9 verse 4, Put a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. They sigh and they cry. Why is the church doing this? Why is the church doing The church in my childhood is not the church today. Go, go to, uh, let's see, go to Haggai chapter 2. Haggai, from verse 1. In the seventh month, in the one and twentieth day of the month, came the word of the Lord by the prophet Haggai, saying what? Speak now to... To Rubel, the son of Shealtiel, governor of Judah, and to Joshua, the son of Josedek, the high priest, and to the residue of the people, saying, Now read with me, who is left among you, come on, that saw this house in her first glory, and how do you see it now? Stop. There were some old people who came from uh, captivity, and they could remember Solomon's temple. You see? So Haggai is saying, is there anyone among you who remembered that was a glorious building? Who is left among you that remember this house in her first glory? And how do you see it now? And as I look back on the church, I think to my who is there that remembers when you could tell an Adventist church by the hymns that they sang? Who is left among you that can tell a guest from a member? Are you following me? Who is left among you that remembered when uh, people said good morning, brothers and sisters, and not you guys? <laughs> Who is left among you <laughs> that remembered when people would send greetings from the pulpit, now they send shout outs? <laughs> Who is left among you that remembered when Adventists could recite the Ten Commandments? Yes. How do you see the church now? Who is left among you that remember the days when Ellen White was respected. How is she treated now? Who is left among you that can remember? And we're at this stage in this church. It's still God's church. Don't misunderstand me. And I love it. It's the right church. But does a lot of crazy things. But it's the right church. But sometimes you have to decide, will I stay in this individual? Don't, ne never leave the seven day out of the church. Amen. When the disciples were leaving Christ in John chapter 6, Jesus said to the twelve, Will ye also go away? Peter said, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life. This church has truth. Some crazy behavior, but it has doctrinal truth. That's what should hold you. Amen. And pray for the church. Don't just criticize. Criticism is not a spiritual gift. <laughs> Are you with me? That's right. Pray for the church. You see, if you are focused on getting close to Christ, there are a lot of things you might not see. But some people, all they do is look at what you're doing and then say, well, come on, drop that skirt another inch. Uh, you, you meet them in the supermarket, they look into your basket to see if there's any chicken legs. You know, it's... A <laughs> <laughs> and so you, you, you're afraid to bump into them in the supermarket because they're checking you and then they decide you're lost. <laughs> because you have some salmon. I'm not promoting flesh. I'm simply saying there's an attitude of judgmentalism. Yes. But you are, uh, it's still God's church, you see, and people change. If the behavior of a particular church is distressing to you, find another one. Or if God convicts you to stay, he may work through your influence to change the entire church. Amen. Mm -hmm. God picked Saul. Look at what Saul did for an entire, oh, churches all over Asia Minor were raised up because of one man.